Revelation 1782, from the 21st of January 1941. Internal Voice Anyone who does not close himself off to the voice of the heart must inevitably do what is pleasing to God, for this voice only sounds where the human being strives towards God, that is, as soon as he has turned away from God the inner voice is silent but not that it could also speak and urge the human being to do evil. The person who gives in to the urge of evil forces, thus does what contradicts God's will, will never hear in a admonishing or warning calls. He has silenced the voice within himself by not heeding it when it admonished or warned him. Therefore, if the voice sounds in the heart, it is always the divine voice, and what it tells the human being to do will always be right before God. Consequently, a person who respects his inner voice and follows it can never act wrongly, for he has the will to do good and therefore cannot act badly. Only if he has not yet freed himself from worldly desires, if he wants to fulfill earthly desires, then the enemy will lure him through these earthly desires and hold all earthly pleasures and cravings against the urge of the heart. And then there is the danger that the inner voice will not be heeded. Then the body has gained the upper hand over the heart, and the will of man has turned towards that which it should overcome. So that will always be the standard when the divine will is fulfilled whether the body and its desire is complied with or what the human being does and thinks is for the benefit of the soul. And the voice of the heart will always demand that the human being accepts what is beneficial for the soul but will never sound in favor of the body's desire. Anyone who sincerely wants to fulfill God's will also hears the inner voice clearly enough, he always knows what God requires of him, only he sometimes lacks the strength to carry it out, yet then he only needs to pray and the strength will come to him. His will and his prayer can do everything. However, if one of them is lacking, his life will be a struggle and a fight until he sincerely asks and wants it. The human being's will can achieve everything if it unites with divine will. And prayer should therefore apply to the still weak will for what is incomprehensible to the human being becomes clear to him when he regards himself as God's work of creation, which is inseparable from its creator. And therefore the being is also in constant contact with him and only needs to want to feel this connection. Through the divine voice which constantly instructs the human being what he has to do and not do, yet whether he listens to it depends solely on his will for God certainly admonishes and warns all his living creations but he does not force them to obey him. Amen.